same concept of that fast that we just did. Okay, if I'm going to lasso my arm, squat down, touch it for Okay, lower my base, no room for it at the viva. Okay, I'm staying very low. I'm going to go for the wrist. Mm -hmm. I'm going to catch it tight. Okay, now from here, I'm going to leave my hip, extend my arm, step to the side, boom, step over, grab the pants. Push him down, same thing, okay? Elbow in, clear first the lasso, walk to the side. I'm gonna underhook him. I'm gonna get all the way to this side. And what is going to happen now is that he's gonna use his right hand quickly, and then he's gonna push my shoulder, and he's gonna throw his right leg over my hand, and he's gonna step on my shoulder, okay? To create a distance, right? He wants to recover his guard. But I know now what he needs to do right here. He needs to Create the space to play in the lasso, so I'm not gonna fully let him go. So I'm gonna put some here, guys. Okay, and I notice that he has that foot on my on my uh on my shoulder. Okay, my left hand is gonna let go of the belt. It's gonna go in front of that foot. From here, this becomes a very strong hook for him. Okay, that anchors his hips on the ground. I don't want his hips on the ground anymore. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna go under. Come back the pants. Gonna grab his gear at this point. It's gonna be my knee very close to his hip but you can see he doesn't have anything that hooks him with me so that's when i want to leave his hips up with my knee behind his leg and at this point i can let go of the lapel where i can drag his thigh boom bring him toward my bicep you can transition here i like this grip a lot because it kind of pulls his hip making him face away from me Okay, tight here though, okay? Don't let him reopen that leg. Tight, pinch the back to the more, and put you in the back, tight, okay? Really pinching it on your bicep. Right back here. Boom. Control, leave, open. Great. Push your leg down first for a moment. Elbow in, and then let him come back if you want. He's gonna push your shoulder. He's gonna step on your shoulder. You notice that. Now that, that this part is very important. Your, arm, your left arm. Because if you try to lift him up from here, that foot is on my armpit. I cannot lift him up. It's a huge hook for him. You have to be sure. You're gonna let go. And then you come back. Now he doesn't have anything. You can do it slow too. Scout, bring it to your biceps. Up tight. Make him turn. This is what you're doing. You're making him turn with this grip. He's gone. Then you're in private, you see? As long as you can. Okay? He's gonna try to shrink. Okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You wanna go, boom. You can let go. Control the hip, but he's gone. He's gone. Okay? So a little trick too. When you're here, okay? And you grab the wrist, what is going to happen? The guy doesn't like this, he's gonna stretch his right leg. What? Okay, he exposes the ankle. Now you can circle your hand, you don't need the wrist anymore. Okay. When you grab here, the guy knows all the moves that you know, he's gonna start stretching. Use the knee, pop it out. And this is a lot of power. He's gonna push your shoulder, he's flexible, he passes a leg over, fine. Just don't let him move here. You have, you're in a good spot. Might look like you're about to lose it, but actually it's really good. Turn, come back. You're gonna find, you can here, or to your time, lift up a little bit, you're gonna find something, okay? And now from here, walk, walk, walk. You can also flare your right elbow to pop that leg in front of you. And now you can go. Or you can bring your leg. Just to check the left leg, put on my shoulder. Or you can lift him to a certain point and then boom, quick. You can do it quick or step by step. Okay, go guys, three.